Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and I think this is episode 153. And we're going to talk about something I saw on the internet that I thought was kind of interesting, something I, at least I didn't know before. Uh, and it was Eric Larson talking to someone, and I think Bleeding Cool picked it up, about the untold tale of Venom's tongue and why it does what it does and where it came from and all that stuff. Because some of the visual images, a lot of stuff we know today as like Venom canon and things that we you know are like, oh, that's definitive Venom, a lot of it does come from Eric Larson. Even though uh, Todd McFarlane was the first artist to draw the character of Venom and, uh, and design him, uh, Eric Larson did amp it up and add a lot of stuff to it. So we're going to just take a look at this article, talk about that real quickly while I'm cooking. I'm trying to get back on this health kick, trying to get back to losing weight since I've been gaining some, eating that Burger King. No offense to Burger King. I love Burger King. That's why I go there. But I can't be eating it as often as I do. So I'm trying to break it up. I got some vegetables here, and I'm cooking it with uh, some sausage over here. So yeah, that's what I'm getting into today. So this is my intro. Hope you like it. And let's get into the stuff that you came here for, which is Venom. All right, we're back, and uh, let's check out this uh, post that Eric Larson put up. And actually, I was wrong. I don't know if I, in the intro, I might have said Bleeding Cool posted this article. It was actually comicbook.com, so I want to make sure I give the proper credit to Russ Burlingham uh, over there at uh, comicbook.com. He is the one who posted this article. Like, he made an article based off this post by Eric Larson. So I'm going to put a link to Russ's article down below. Make sure you go check that out. And then also have a link to Eric Larson's Facebook uh, page where you can check out this as well. Uh, but this is kind of the untold tale or origin of Venom's tongue in a way. He is untold with a question mark uh, because he's not sure, you know, he's like, I don't remember what order things happened in and what, you know, what happened, but this is something that he posted. So I'll kind of paraphrase a little bit. Uh, he said, years ago, Todd McFarlane drew a cover for Spider-Man versus Venom trade paperback. So it'll be this image here. Uh, that we've shown on this channel before and it was basically the collection of the first few appearances of Venom and it was put in a, a small trade paperback for like eight dollars or something like that and Todd McFarlane drew a new cover and on it it featured uh, a tongue and he said on it he you know the, uh, Todd McFarlane drew Venom with his mouth open and a, a tongue that was visible uh, and he said, I didn't buy the book because I already owned the individual comics. Uh, but my takeaway was that Todd was now giving Venom a tongue because in the first few appearances, he didn't have the tongue. And so uh, he was like, oh, OK, you know, I'll, I'll make sure the tongue is in there when I'm drawing the character. And he goes, uh, so determined to take it a step further, I made Venom's teeth and tongue bigger and crazier. And I, you know, had the jaw protrude out. And, you know, he added he wanted to make him look more monstrous, like he was getting more angry because Venom, you know, got defeated the first time by Spider-Man. Now that he was fighting him more and more and wasn't able to kill him, he was like, you know, showing that in like the growth and size and mon uh, monstrosity of Venom. Uh, which is I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but then he goes, uh, I gave Venom an even bigger, crazier tongue, not realizing that Todd actually didn't do anything special or unusual with this tongue at all. It was a perfectly ordinary, unremarkable tongue. For years, I'd been given credit for the tongue. I'd sheepishly confess that I got it from Todd's trade paperback cover. Imagine my surprise when I actually saw Todd's cover years later and saw that it looked nothing like the thing I had remembered it to be. It turned out that I had given that crazy tongue after all. So uh, this is just something kind of neat, just a little history uh, for Venom that I actually wasn't sure about because according to my memory too, I thought Todd McFarlane was the one that gave the tongue and that uh, Eric Larson just enhanced it and made it bigger. Uh, but it looks like he was remembering it wrong and apparently I was too. So this was kind of cool, fun little news to me. I thought I'd make a fun, quick little video uh, because, you know, we try to get as many of the facts right as we can on this channel and the history of the character. And this is something I may have miss said before in earlier episodes about who created what and where things came from. And I don't think I specifically talked about the tongue before, but I still wanted to bring it up in in this episode uh, to so you guys knew that it was you know comes from Eric Larson and even to his surprise he was like holy crap I, I am the creator of Venom's tongue I am the one who made it come out and drip you know green ooze and everything so uh, hopefully I have some art from Eric Larson popping up here uh, while I'm talking about this but uh, you guys let me know is that one of your favorite features when it came out in the trailer I know it had a big reaction I think Elizabeth Banks made like a crude joke about it and I think Gene Simmons also made a comment about it so if I can find those articles I'll put links uh, down below as well to those because uh, that was definitely a focal point after that trailer of discussion for people talking about the tongue so I think that's what made Eric Larson go back and revisit his memories and the artwork to see who actually came up with the tongue and it turns out he did so that's pretty awesome so big shout out to Eric Larson and all the work he did and Todd did and everyone who's drawn Venom over the years and brought him to life and made him 
you know, different, everyone bringing their own interpretation and their own, adding their own thing to it because all of those different versions are everyone's favorites. You know, my favorite version of Venom is like a Tom Lyle, Mark Begley look, uh, but I know other people out there had, you know, their takes. They like Todd McFarlane and Eric Larson more. And I love those guys. I love what they did, but I just kind of came in more at the era of Tom Lyle with the Scarlet Spider and then backtracked to read all that stuff and then Begley with Carnage and stuff. So I backtracked. Uh, so those were kind of my first introduction. So of course they're kind of like embedded in my head as the originals to me of, of the time I got into comics. Uh, but you know, you guys all have different favorites. So let me know what your favorite interpretation of Venom is down below. And uh, also let me know what you think about these comments about the tongue. Uh, did you know it was Eric Larson that created it? Or did you think it was Todd McFarlane like I did up until just moments ago? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.